Oh, there we go. Hey, C here, and welcome to the first episode of my Rugs to Riches challenge. Now, while this might be the first episode of the Rugs to Riches challenge, this is not the first episode of my occult series, because this is technically related to the occult series. Aurora here is one of the last members of my occult family, however, she is just a normal human. That is the reason why she is here in Borosburg. It is exactly because she felt ostracized, kind of, like her fam that by her family, and she wanted to run away and find her own place in in this world. Now that's ironic, because she felt like the weird one in a family of weird ones. <laughs> now, the problem with this is that in order to make her come here to Borosburg, I sent her on a vacation, and by sending her on a vacation, she started here, which is a hostel that, um, that we, you know, when you go on vacation in The Sims 3, you go to a campsite, to a hostel, something like that. Um, but this will go against the rules of the Rugs to Riches challenge, so I'm not letting her use the hostel. I decided that she can. We can have the... we can use the hostel if we pay 500 simoleons per day. That is steep, actually, but that is the only way that I would do that. Um, we can't access build mode, I'm just realizing, so there might be a few more challenges to this challenge because all of these things that we are finding all go into the family inventory, not in here, so we can't sell the things that we find dumpster diving. Whoops, uh, but oh well, what we are gonna do though is, um try and find another place in which we can take a shower. There is a synagogue for sale, an abandoned synagogue. Maybe that could be a good place to squat in, you know, for a homeless person. I really like this area here. That looks really cool. This hostel, like this whole world, I don't know if... I've, I've made an episode of one of exploring Borisberg, but I didn't explore it that much really and this whole neighborhood this whole world is so good it's just the details in everything is it's just fantastic which is why i thought it would be the best place to do the rex the riches challenge in um with the added challenge of you know being restricted by what we can do in uh in a vacation but this is a synagogue for sale which apparently is used by some people who come here to protest um, maybe let's see what can we do here is there this is so cool let's see there are bathrooms so maybe we can just wash hands and brush teeth. I don't think there's much more that we can do there. So let me give you a bit of a recap in case you don't know my occult series. Aurora here is the last daughter of C. Now C is my sim self. C was a witch, still is a witch, and for a brief period he was a ghost hunter as well, so we met a lot of ghosts. Then we met a merman Chemre and he fell in love and they got married, but C also had two cats, Simba and Olivia, who we were able to turn into human Sims. For a brief period, Simba got turned into a mummy, but we managed to turn him back into a human. And then C uh, Simba met Bo Brook. Bo Brook is a fairy, and. Together, Bo and Simba met Goopy Gil Scarborough, a vampire, and they both, they all three of them were in love with, with 
each other <laughs> with you know it was a throuple and uh yeah but when they went to college simba got turned into a plant sim and that way he was able to have a daughter with a bow combining plant powers and fairy powers they were able they were able to make ivy and by accident simba died because he wanted to build a beautiful huge lush garden for ivy to play in and he accidentally gave too much life he literally gave his life to give life to the garden and he died that way it was very sad but ivy got an imaginary friend that we were able to make real as well and going to olivia when she was a teenager the school sent her to france to write an article um on champlain sims and there he met eve bernard eve was struggling with his recent issue let's say because he recently turned into a werewolf now olivia comes from a family of occults so she knew something about werewolves so she was able to help eve and when olivia came back and grew up eve decided to move to legacy island which is where the whole family is and they got married somebody i don't remember who somebody gifted them a genie lamp and olivia rubbed it and had her three wishes one of those wishes was to become a genie herself and then they had olivia and eve had a daughter together who is lala sandner bernard lala is named after one of my childhood dogs that i loved very much because you know daughter of a werewolf and all uh but yeah in the meantime c and chemre adopted aurora well, why is chemre's stepfather they adopted her together whatever but that is that is it and aurora is only a human so she always felt out of place in her family she's doing her homework <laughs> all right I mean, you can go ahead and do that. This place is fantastic. Look at that. It's just a grungy old pub, but it's so cool. I love this place. And as I suspected, there are things up here. So I feel like she would play the drums. Nobody's here, so we can practice without being judged. She does stink badly. But hey, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Hello? You are gorgeous. Who are you? I mean, I kind of don't want to meet you right now because I'm stinky. Don't take a photo of me. Oh my god, I'm gonna be in the newspaper. Stinky girl plays drums alone. Yeah, no, she's way too self-conscious. We're gonna leave. Um, let's see, where where can we go? Let's go to the fire station. It's a whole place where the firefighters have to leave, basically. It has to be a second house for, for them. So I am gonna sneak in and try to take a shower there without anybody noticing hopefully if we see somebody in the same room i'm gonna have her run away there's nobody here actually oh somebody just arrived i think oh no Oof, nobody saw us phew all right so uh we need a place to sleep Oh, she wants to learn boat building. I love that because that's the thing that I wanted for her. 
Is there a nanite? Maybe another time. But she wants to learn pot building. So to find her place in the occult series, the few occults that we are missing are pots, which are the sim bot and the plum bot. So I wanted her to become an inventor. That was the main thing that I wanted to do. Um, so the fact that she actually got that wish, that's fantastic. So that is why I was saying this is the Rux to Riches challenge, it is a challenge all of its own, but it is also kind of like a spin-off of the Occult series. And we're back, and now actually we're right next to it, I didn't even do it on purpose, but now we do have a junkyard here. Uh, which, I mean, I try to decorate it a little bit more. This is the the one that came uh, by default and then I just try to blend it in a little bit by adding more like a warehouse and stuff, containers, I don't know. I don't know if it looks like anything, but I do want to be here because I want to dig through. There's nothing left to dig for in this junk pile, apparently. Oh well, she really wants to do her homework, so I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna just let her do her her homework. Oh, I did forget that she's kind of she's kind of a of a celebrity back home, so that's why there's paparazzi all over. Again, I'm gonna sneak into the sneak into the here and like I wanted to legitimately ask and do it the proper way you know but if there's nobody here there's nobody to stop me if only she knew that her father used to be an adventurer like her and then she he took an arrow to the knee no but her her father C used to be an adventurer he adventured throughout egypt china and france and he had all that she needed to survive out in the open. He had sleeping bags, tents. Uh, I'm pretty sure he still had some food rations and the sp spray showers. He had all that she would need to survive, but she... Well, to be fair, when she was born, he wasn't doing that anymore, so there wasn't any way that he would that she would really know. I don't think he would have told her, but at the same time, she just left without even trying to find resources to survive. I put an inventing table here, uh, but technically, if I cheated to put this table here, I also cheated to put everything else, like the whole lot itself here so i feel like this is more like you know i decided that this lot would have an inventing table um and i can use that i didn't buy it with her money i just bought it with you know the, the it, it was just here i guess but yeah i bought that inventing table so that i can just double and learn this new skill that we want to learn because we have plenty of scraps now. I wonder if there's a consignment shop here. Can we sell things to a shop instead of instead of selling it in the inventory? Because that is not realistic. Just dragging it to here, that is not really realistic. Whereas if I were to sell it to somebody specifically, it would be different. Got them. Whoops. Uh oh. Please extinguish yourself. Don't just stand there. She can't die on a vac- can she die on a vacation? Expire. Yes, she can. Good news. We manipulated time and space and she's still alive. And by that I mean the game crashed while going back to Legacy Island. So she's still alive. <laughs> she she never she never even finished her homework. Oh my god. And we are back. Wait. She actually invented something this time. 
So this aurora uh, from this from this side is is better. <laughs> it's better at inventing things. How much can we sell that for? Only four. That's that's all. But we invented the 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 swinging poles, the smasher. Let's keep inventing. Come on. And this is only five. But little by little, you know. Oh, and also salvage that. And salvage that. I forgot that you can also get just random... Random... Piles of... The, of what? What am I saying? Random... Furniture. Oh my god, I couldn't think of the word furniture. Here at the junkyard, which makes sense. Oh! Alright. Return home. And then once when we're home, we're gonna be able to buy a vacation home and that will allow us to access build and buy mode. Oh, I need to have a level 3 visa. Okay, new plan. I waited an hour for the loading screens to <laughs> end and everything and still the visa level... I mean, technically the visa level for Borsberg is already at level 10, but she still cannot purchase a uh, level 3, I meant. But st she still can't purchase a vacation home. And I tried to see if C could, because maybe she's just too young to do it. But if you go here, check real estate, rumored services, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't it doesn't appear there's nothing for a vacation home but there is a move option and we can move within this neighborhood but also to a new town so that's our new plan she has developed the artistic trait for a second i thought it said autistic and i was like mood uh but no artistic that's all right we definitely need to change our outfit although this is the pjs so maybe Maybe it'll work, but we'll change our outfit when we move. Uh, let's do Descendants of Da Vinci. That would be nice. I wonder, will I be able to move back here? And if so, will this family, you know, C and Chemre and all of them, will they still be here? I can return to previous town. It is in a weird place, so I can decide. You no, know but actually, I changed my mind. But I... I won't. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, I wonder if that warning that it gave me about saving, does it only count for this, for the return to previous town here right now? Or is it... does it also work down the line if eventually I decide to move back to Legacy Island? Which is something that I will want to do. It's just gonna be more of a, um, like, if I move back and nobody's there, you know, I will have to make a plan boat as well. She will make sim boats and plan boats. So, to make plan boats, she will have to go into the future. And if I go back to Legacy Island, and that, uh, and I will not find my family there, that means that when she traveled through time she messed she messed up her timeline so when she went back to legacy island she finds that actually that timeline her family would never existed just to let you know what i have in mind for the story uh but what i am gonna do is i'm gonna buy this one and get rid of these or actually no Let's buy it furnished, because I think these two are just shells and I want to keep them. So, let's go there. This is my place. Actually, you know what? I thought this was just gonna be a shell, because this right here is, is a shell. I thought it was gonna be like this one. Because you can see if I... If I... Oh, that's outside of my unit. All right. So my unit is only this one. And you know what? Yes, I'm gonna say that I have this. 
I'm just gonna get rid of this sink. But this is just a storage unit that I'm squatting in. I like this, actually. It's more realistic. I mean, I'm in a big city, so yeah. Here we are then. I didn't change up much, and actually I like this a lot more than what uh, what I did earlier with putting the default one there because I did like these shells just here like that um, but when I did it myself I just with a couple containers in the cargo container it, it didn't look right it didn't look well whereas this looks a lot better because it is those I just put a little area here and I did forget to add the the fucking thing again so I'm gonna add it now right there but also, I do need, desperately, the pool, because I'm not gonna have her die just like that. Okay, I just added a couple of rocks just to make it, again, seem like it's more of a pond than, uh, than anything. But as she's digging through the trash here again, just like we started this episode, this is how we're ending this, the, the episode as well. And, yeah. I this has been a roller coaster but I unfortunately have no more time for this episode because believe it or not this took me two days a full two days to record yesterday was all about preparing for this and because she was still a child so I had to grow her up and everything today's episode just everything kind of went wrong uh, so to, it was more setup involved even in the middle of it, of it all. But um, yeah, for next episode we have it all finally properly set up. But even without a few of the things that we needed, we did still start the challenge. Uh, it was just a little different, but we'll pretend that in the canon none of that uh, happened. In the canon she was always here, she didn't come, go back home and then come back here. You know what I mean. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.